Yunara is one of my favorite Ojang, so I thought I would do a tutorial on her look. And it's very natural looking at the same time, it's innocent but very wearable. So I hope you guys enjoy this video and let's get started. First, I'm going to prime my face using the Mamamoo Soft Bloom Makeup Base. And then take your favorite foundation. Here I'm using the Mamamoo Real Skin Founder and I'm just going to apply this all over my face. And then I'm going to conceal my dark circle using the Benefit Fake Up Concealer in number 1, Light. Yun Ara is very famous for her straight eyebrows, so I'm going to follow that. I'm just going to make my eyebrows straighter than usual. And then I'm going to prime my eyelid using the Laura Mercier Eye Basics in Flax. Then taking a shimmery pink eyeshadow here, I'm using the Jill Stewart Eye Jelly and in number 3. And I'm just going to apply this all over my eyelid. light brown color eyeshadow. I'm going to start dabbing it from the outer V and then work my way in and this is going to create a really nice gradation. A lot of Ojang makeup nowadays has been more into gradient eyes, especially like eyeshadows, they like to make a gradient and then also gradient lips. So that is what I'm trying to achieve for today's look. And then next, I'm going to line my eyes using this Proof Pen Auto Pencil in brown. Since Yun Ara's eye makeup is more towards droopy eye look, I'm going to line my eyes first and then slightly extend the line at the end a little bit further down so that it will create a droopy eye look. This eye makeup has been a huge trend for the past 3 years because it looks very natural at the same time looks innocent as well so it's very date appropriate. So if you're looking for a date makeup, I do recommend you guys to try this look out. this dark brown matte color eyeshadow and then mixing it with a shimmery color eyeshadow and apply this on the lower outer V. By doing so, it will make the eyes look bigger and more defined. Now 
moving on to my favorite part, I'm going to take this cute eyes maker from Etude House and taking the step one, which is this brown color eyeshadow. And I'm going to apply this under my eye bags and this will make the look more youthful. up the Egyo style look, I'm going to take this step 2 which is really pretty champagne pink color eyeshadow and I'm going to apply this right on my puffy eyes or we call it eye bag. Taking the same pink shimmery eyeshadow from Jill Stewart, I'm going to apply this on my inner corner and also lower half of my eyes and this will make the look more brighter and more awake and also a lot of Ojang has been pulling off this shimmery eye look so I'm going to try to follow that. And then don't forget to curl your lashes. Taking a volumizing mascara, apply this on your upper lashes. And then I'm going to take this Maybelline The Rocket Mascara. I'm going to apply this on my lower lashes because I feel like this mascara works the best for me, especially for lower lashes because it doesn't clump. It separates the lashes very well but at the same time making it look very volumized. is all about shading so I'm going to take this matte brown color eyeshadow and just shade my nose so that it will be more sharper and more defined taking a light pink color blush I'm just going to apply this on the apples of my cheek flawless and more photoshop, I'm going to take this highlighter here. I'm using the Sweet Recipe Chocolate Highlighter and I'm going to apply this on the bridge of my nose and other parts of my face so that it will look more polished. I'm gonna take this wannabe cushion tint in color jean, which is really pretty rosy pink color. I'm going to start applying it from the middle part of my lips, creating a gradation. And then I'm going to slightly dab it and blend it out all over my lips. Last but not least, I'm going to take this MAC Pro Longwear Lip Glass in Forever Rose. Again, I'm going to apply this from the center of my lips and then blending it out. And this will also create a gradation but more of that 3D effect. So that's it for my Ojang Yunara's makeup tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you have any more requests, don't forget to comment down below. And if you like this video, don't forget to subscribe and I'll talk to you guys later. Annyeong!